So uh, I really want to listen. Uh, I've been working with the deck since I first thought of it. And you, you know my story that this thing came to me in a dream. And my analytical mind, my skeptical mind says, what, what are you channeling? And, and it's important to know um, that the artificial intelligence was simply, it began with me asking uh, chat GPT for the principles, 64 principles like the I Ching that a human being has to master if we're to be our best and to have our most, most pleasant life. And that's what came up with. So that was from artificial intelligence. The individual cards uh, I wrote, and I've been writing my whole life as a professional writer, as you know, some of you know. And um, but this was different. This just seemed to download. And you know, when I when I pull the cards now, it's like, who wrote that? You know, was that really me? And it was. And I'll give you a little story. Uh, today, before uh, the meeting, I went to the store, Shaw's in Rhode Island, to get food. And uh, I go back to my car, and my car keys are gone. Now, the card I pulled this morning was number three, which is fear, where we interpret things that go wrong as if it's a threat against our survival. And I went nuts. You know, I, I wanted to be here. I had a client before. I was afraid of missing. I went a little crazy. And so I'm walking back through the snow to get another car to go, you know, lock my car. And I'm, I'm thinking, you know, and the cards were going through my mind. Certainly fear. I'm reacting to something that is not life-threatening. I mean, there are people in Gaza who, God bless their hearts, are going through hell. Oh, people, all kinds of issues. And all that happened to me is I lost my car keys. And I began going through some of the cards, like uh, gratitude. You know, I began going through what I'm grateful for to kind of calm myself down. Patience. And persistence, you know, that to just keep going. So that's how it is working for me. We got some more people coming in. Um, I just wanted to say that um, I, art is so subjective, and I really, I really liked the artwork uh, from the cards. I, I really, really did. I, I was telling a friend about it, and. Um, and again, I'm. I know that you don't want to put artists out of business or anything, but no, it's a, it's a different look, and and I liked it. I liked several of the um of the art. art I I can't wait until they become cards to get them <laughs> for that for that reason. So I mean, you know, some people will like it, some people won't. But I I liked it. The ideas. Um, the collective ideas and um, you know it's New Year's time everyone it starts working on themselves at New Year's and um, the 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 first one about um, you know knowing your strengths and weaknesses that's what kind of caught me you know um, right. as, as I want to work with these cards because that's what I need I need direction into um, you know exploring how I can improve myself. You know, so I, go ahead. No, you, you, I'm sorry. You first. No, I, so I thank you for, um, for the emails and, and for sending them to me because I appreciate them and uh, I really enjoy them. Well, the thing I like about my deck is that it's not me. It's what all of humanity has come up with. You know, I, I channel the words of each card but these are the 64 principles like patience, kindness, empowerment of, of others, uh, you know, non-judgmentalism. Uh, and to look at these things on a daily basis has been very powerful. Who else wants to give their general reaction? The general reactions? Yeah. Uh, Raphael. Hello. Hey. So I've worked with a lot of decks over the years. <laughs> And I found it to be intuitive. I found it helpful to contemplate prior to using the random number generator. So hmm. taking a minute to formulate my question, put it to the universe, and then hit generate so that hmm. I, I have a fully formed intention rather than coming up with a number, um, you know, it'll probably work either way you know um mm. 
but I just always believe that if you ask a clear question, you're going to get a more clear answer. Um, even if the question is, what do I need to know right now? So, um, but the, I thought that the, I didn't have a problem with the AI generated images at all. You're not putting artists out of work. It's art that wouldn't exist if no. you didn't create it. So it's not like, you know, you had a commissioned artist and you fired them because you did it AI. So I wouldn't beat yourself up about that. Mm -mm. A comment, a comment here. Uh, who's this from? Uh, Rachel, I started off using the deck without images, but then started using the image and I liked it better. Uh, liked it better than Arliss. I, I had I had that experience as well. I was using it just without without it, thinking I know all this stuff. But having the art does make a difference. It does uh, engage both sides of the brain. Who's next? This is wonderful. I'm having a great time. I hope you guys are. Um, I, I I do this every single morning, and uh, I uh, you know, I, and I, I I today was fear uh, number three. And I told a story before most of you came here that uh, I had lost my car keys and, and I had to walk through the snow and I was going nuts and experiencing fear as if my survival was at stake. And and I think people do this all the time. You know, I, I've been doing hypnosis, working with people with issues for years. And I sit in my office and nobody's torturing them. You know, they're not starving, they're not being bombed, but they're miserable. And that's the human condition. We make ourselves miserable. I don't want to do that anymore if I if I can avoid it. Mm -hmm. I really don't. Enough is enough, you know? Um, to be grateful for, for a life uh, and, and to look at what's positive. That's one of the, you know, the positive attitude uh, to cultivate that. Uh, again, these principles come from all human writing. I think uh, chat GPT goes through you know, all writing, uh, and, and they gave me these principles. Who would like to jump in? So, um, it was pretty interesting to be uh, honest. Like the first one I pulled was the U-turn and uh, 37, like, I, 37. Yeah. yeah. And I've been told like constantly the past couple months, like you need to do things totally differently. Like you need to reset your mind and how you see things. And so it was like, it was honestly jarring at first when I, mm -hmm. I was like, of course I would get the U-turn. And then, um, I think I got the drop the rock as well. And that like actually made me really emotional when I got it. It was like, oh, now I'm allowed to like let go of things. And it's been really interesting to see, like, I think every card I've pulled really has reflected in those like 13 wishes and, I think either tomorrow's my last day for that. And then today was, the, you know, today was the last day for this. And so it kind of was nice to coincide. And um, I'll probably keep pulling, honestly, because it's just, it's a nice external motivator as well to think about something that I might not do ordinarily. And it, you know, gives you a little purpose. And um, and it's good to stop and think about things every now and then. So that I had a great experience, honestly, and I would definitely keep doing it. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Carol, you got your hand up. Okay. Well, I was excited today because I drew the same number that I did the first day I started. And that was number 51. And you had a thing about, uh, you know, how, uh, what is it, what are the chances that you um, pick the same number? So I had to share it with you. Yesterday I was clever and wanted to change the world. Today I'm wise and want to change myself from Rumi. Yeah. Nice quotes, John. Yeah, really nice. And and beautiful writing. Uh, and then the other two other days I had, um, I pulled a card, had the message, and I think I shared one with you, but I, this happened on two days. Not I, not long after I pulled the card, a message from an outside source came with the same message. The, so the synchronicity, I love the synchronicities. You know, the universe talks to us, I think. They say if, if everything is in divine order, there are no coincidences. That literally the right nine people are having this meeting and... I lost my car keys. That was all, it. All works together. Um, 
That's how I look at yeah. life, at least. Which, yeah, me which too. It's a very powerful way to live uh, instead of awfulizing. Like, yes. oh my God, why Good is this work, happening Johnny. to me? You know, like you, I've been singled out for something. The other thing is the idea that things do work out, not necessarily the way we want them to, but they work out the way they're meant to in divine order. How about, the idea, how about the idea of spirit school, by the way? That's a fundamental oh. principle uh, throughout the deck. And that came more from me. Uh, that, that, that was my download. That's how it seems to me that we are here to learn and to grow as souls. And you all know that uh, my book, my own biographies, which is about reincarnation, uh, the idea that we come here over and over. Uh, I believe we come and we go, and we come and we learn and we grow with the idea of moving closer to our deity and the idea that we're moving toward becoming a new species, something more aligned with, with deity. That's how I look at it, at least. By the way, uh, Carol does a thing called the Reincarnation Book Club. Uh, if any of you are interested, it's, it's a wonderful, wonderful service where she uh, has authors come every every month. And um, you know, it's an amazing opportunity. Free, she doesn't charge. Yep, and John was one of our guest speakers uh, last year. And that recording is on um, my YouTube channel, our Jewel in the Crown is the reincarnation symposium which we do halloween weekend and um so that's that's in the works also it's worth the trip so i joined things a little bit late so i'm i'm coming in sort of at the end but i've done three card pulls but also because i am hypersensitive i find that um decks written by women tend to be a little softer so that was the other hesitation that i had is I, uh -huh. I have very few decks by men and and i and again like this is just a personal bias so i was like okay but one of the things that i found is that you write in a way that is challenging but doesn't have that little gotcha edge that tends to be what hurts someone who is highly sensitive and so i really appreciated that about your deck so the first card that i pulled was the judgment card ah okay and, and i just have to say that is i have worked so hard to not function in and so it was very difficult and so i had to like breathe through the, the just the reaction of seeing the name of the card i was like okay all right hold on this is happening for me not to me what is trying to be said but as i actually read the verbiage um it was a beautiful challenge and applied exactly to the conversation i'd been having two minutes before i pulled the card so it was very definitely right on point i loved the way that it wrapped it up and it did challenge me to basically um you know, I was not judging the individual, but it challenged me to take it to even a new level of non-judgment, if that makes sense, that was even softer. And so I really appreciated that about the card um, and it's totally fried. And I drew it and that was the one. And I just laughed. It was right on. And I was like, OK, yes. Um, so anyway, so all that to say, I really have uh, been very favorably, um, you know, a, a very favorable impression of what you've done. Um, I've worked fine with the with the generator and I, I look forward to having it in deck form because I think there's a lot of value in it. And I love um, I love the backstory that you share with it of how you <laughs> created it because I'll, I love I love how you've combined the input from the AI, which clearly is a database of you know, extensive reach, right? And that's the beauty of being able to tap into it, but being able to take that and then add your human wisdom from your years of experience and the and the divine right, no. that you're receiving, I, I just feel like it was really powerful. So so nobody's questioning the spirit school thing. That's kind of nice to hear. Hmm. We are all souls. One of the things about, you know, me as the writer is I'm in this, you know, I have not got life mastered. I'm, I'm a student in spirit school, uh, probably like a C-plus student. While Carol is trying to unmute, anybody else want to jump in? And and particularly with anybody that's got double, somebody told me that they had number 37, like three or four, or even five times. I forget the exact number. And what a powerful message. You know, those of you who got my early emails when I was going nuts about the statistics of it, the odds of... <laughs> Of any of any one pick is one out of sixty four, and then to get one, and then uh, it doesn't matter whether it's like the same repeated. 
then you multiply 64 times 64 so that's 4096 so whatever you get is uh is, you know 4096 against one chances you'll get that particular reading uh carol you're, you're unmuted now yeah so i just wanted to put in my perspective um i am new to this kind of thing um last couple of years i've been just diving into tarot cards past lives reading all kinds of books i don't know where it came from but um so i guess i'm like a newer maybe more on the skeptical side but just finding it all very fascinating and you know i loved your book i thought it was really great um so i thought this would be interesting too so I know a little bit about tarot, the, the tarot card deck, it, it kind of reminded me of that a little bit, but um, very interesting. And it gave me a lot to think about. And, um, you know, the, the, I've, I've just recently got into it. I've three young kids. So my life is chaos. And, mm. um, you know, when I was pulling the cards in the last three days, I'm like, wow, well, this has a lot to do with, you know, what I'm going through and this makes sense. And then I wondered if, you know, a lot of them could make sense. And um, just even for like a skeptical person that would purchase this, like if it were on the market, I would say, you don't really have to believe in it because I, what you wrote. And then I liked the exercises and I got the courage one on the first day. Cause I was, I've been, you know, I'm not the most courageous person. And so I'm like, well, that's good. And, you know, I tried an exercise and it helped, you know, I'm like, gosh, like, you don't even need to believe that this is, you know, on another level. Yeah, exactly. You, you don't need to believe at all forward. to do this. You need to yes. observe. Right. And so um, anyway, I found your insight really helpful. So that is my two cents. You know, in terms of the AI thing, if you've read the forward, I had, this, I was presenting at my hypnotist national convention and out of the blue, uh, I, I think I had mentioned AI slightly but this young uh, PhD in artificial intelligence grabbed me and offered to do anything he could to help me. And his his vision was that AI will be an aid to human evolution, mm -hmm. be a, a companion to our growth, not a barrier, not replacing us, but helping us to grow. I mean, that uh, that's... One can only hope. One can I hope. hope. <laughs> you know, there, are obviously, so. there are risks attached to it, but yeah. that, that was... And I thought that was you know, divine synchronicity that this guy for some reason just grabbed me. Uh, Raphael, you got your hand up. There, you know, despite all of the universe and, you know, spirit school uh, belief, there is also the belief that we are all God. Yes. And right. Our higher right. self is always available to us to answer our questions. So these cards can be viewed as a connection to source energy, however you define it and um, and your higher self i absolutely that uh, resonates with me completely i believe we are all part of of that which creates this well part of deity and i think uh and this may sound provocative but that god's dilemma was that god can't see itself and human beings uh, through consciousness and and senses we experience in a different way we're separate from god and yet part of and i think the evolution is is firming up that connection with deity we're all like well, from a from a quantum physics aspect, they have now found that the universe goes as far down into the small as it goes up into the huge. And so there is a very real possibility that it's just a loop that meets and that at the very smallest, smallest, smallest begins the biggest, biggest, biggest and vice versa. That makes sense to me. <laughs> yeah. Uh... You know, I got to say, I am so honored for the wisdom that you guys are giving me. Uh, thank you for, for, you know, joining me in the project. Um, truly. I picked uh, randomly a card uh, and uh, rather than do the screen share, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll just read and we'll have a little bit more time if anybody else wants to. But what I picked uh, randomly was on the 27. And 27 is peace. Some of us think holding on makes us strong, but sometimes it's letting go. That's from Herman Hess. You can start by picking your battles instead of letting battles pick you. Sounds too simple. 
then try this one on instead. Consider today that you don't have to go to every fight to which you are invited. And I would and that includes fighting with AI. Most students in spirit school seem obsessed with trying to win, or at least trying desperately not to lose. Life begins to feel like a battle. Ultimately, it's a battle for survival, with the goal of avoiding pain and then, when po possible, seeking pleasure. This card picked you to today to invite you to resign from the battle and start playing a new game, the game of living in peace, gratitude, love, and service. Stop settling for life at the level of survival today and know that you're going to be okay. Focus instead on serving others with your efforts. Universal Mind assures you that your needs will be provided for in abundance. It's one of those cosmic ironies that you will find scattered around spirit school. Serving others can ultimately be a selfish act, and you will be at peace, maybe for the first time in a long, long time. And the assignment is reacquaint yourself with the simple mantra uh, from, childhood, from the childhood song, let there be peace on earth and let it, let it begin with me. And I think that does kind of you know, the essence of this thing, uh, to be at peace. 